We have a financial awareness workshop that is sponsored by Fair, ha Fair Housing of Central Indiana. Amy Nelson, we're grateful for her providing us this wonderful opportunity. But what amazes me is all of the participants that came out today to be blessed. They're receiving tons of knowledge and looking forward to the next one, February 23rd, 2023, right here at Pride Academy at the West Campus, 5615 West 22nd Street. Um, I love what I do. My husband is an economic developer and he's a jazz pianist. So if we're doing lessons, he loves that kind of thing. Oh, nice. Um, he's an economic developer. And so what he does is build up cities and towns, works with mayors, town managers, uh, developers to determine what communities need. And what I do is help that process come to fruition. I do a lot with tax credits. Um, so building affordable housing, but not the kind that no one wants to live in. Um, working within the standards of Indiana to make sure that the housing market that is called affordable is actually affordable but decent and a place where you feel safe and sound and welcome. So we had tw these 12 people got together and they formed this group called the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. Now we could not be called Realtors. So we, the National Association of Real Estate Brokers, came up with the word Realtors. We're called realtors. So if you hear that word around realtors, those are black real estate professionals. So if you ever hear that name. So that's how that, that came about. But they came about so that we could have the same opportunities, the same things that others have, and we, uh, so that we could practice as others would. Invest for retirement. If you don't have a 401k through your work or, um, well, if you don't have a 401k through your work, if they offer it, do it, all right? Because they're gonna invest part of, we're gonna put money into your 401k. I'm trying to drum that into my daughter. She just had a baby yesterday. She has a 401k available to her and she hasn't taken advantage of it. I'm drumming that into her that she's gonna need that for down the road. Selecting a lender. Who do you think you should talk to first? Do you think you should talk to a lender first or a realtor first? What are your thoughts on that one? You think the lender? So I'm going to tell you this. It could go either way. It's like a chicken and the egg thing. All right? Doesn't matter. Priscilla's a realtor. I've known Priscilla for a long time. Um, if, Priscilla get, if Priscilla gets you first, She's going to be like, listen, you're going to have to talk to a lender. Let me help you get there. If I get you first, I'm going to be, let's do this, pre-qualification. Do you have a realtor? Okay, so either one of us. When I'm working with the realtor, they're working with me. Okay, you need both of us. Doesn't matter which one you call first. We're going to get together. All right? So that should give you a little bit of a, because sometimes it's just the overwhelmingness of it. And I learned about budgeting and about home ownership. I'm a 19 year old and I'm young at this, so it's a lot of good information that will definitely help me in beginning my journey as an adult. All kind of valuable information on credit repair, home ownership, and the whole process from pre-qualifying to actually closing, it was a lot of valuable information. Even though I already own a house, I'm still trying to be into the real estate business, also have properties that I can sell and fix up. So that's what I mainly want to do with all this. Gaining knowledge and understanding of things that really just are overlooked in the black culture. You know, they say a lot of times when you, you know, hide something from black people, you put it inside of a book. Luckily, we have really educated people who don't mind coming and telling us the resources where they get the information from so we can go look and find it ourselves and apply it to our own. So, really good program, I'm really happy to be here today. Those that are here because this is going to be the key ingredient for their success for home ownership. Home buyer education is key. That's covering the financial literacy, the budgeting, building credit, repairing credit, learning about the process of home buying, which we're getting ready to cover now. 
So the full gamut. So home buyer education is truly the key for our people in our community to move that needle from that 44% up.